What's up you guys, it's Mr. Doheny and in today's video I'm going to be showing you different designs for fire stations. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome to my first fire station that I'm going to be showing you today. It's actually, ironically enough, station number three as you can see um, over there in red over on top of the garages. Um, we are in the city of San Palisade, just right off the central island, right on the beach in front of a hotel, and um, this is probably my favorite station that I've built. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys inside. It's kind of a beehive design that I came up with myself. Um, I don't even know what inspired me. Um, I, I, one thing I think is uh, if you've ever been to Utah or you live in Utah, um, every time I go there I always like the road signs because they have like a beehive style thing. And so that kind of inspired me, but <clears throat> um, that was kind of after the facts. But anyway, let's go inside and take a look. So um, in here we have the lobby and um, it's nothing too spectacular. We do have these big windows and it's very light filled. We have a little check-in area. We have a restroom in here, which is very utilitarian, so nothing, no big deal. And then over here is where we have um, where the guys live and work or whatever. So um, here's a an area, here's some beds over here. There's a kitchen um, up against one wall. There's a TV and there's some couches and those are, that's all from the um, Mr. Crayfish mod, and then of course we have the most important thing in a firehouse, and that is the fire pole, which takes you down to the garage. Um, but before we go to that, here's the bathroom. Um, I don't really love this bathroom. I don't love how like there's four showers together. I think that's kind of weird, but just imagine there's like a wall in between and separation and it's not all glass. So um, that'd be a little bit weird if it were all glass. But anyway, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go down the fire pole, which I used, um, or which I made using a uh, just an iron pole and here's the garage and we can pretend that there is some trucks in here um, let's see let's use I know that these let me see if I can find it here I know that there's um, a transporter these are big yeah see those are big so we'll pretend that these are the fire trucks <laughs> that looks so stupid but um, yeah so I mean that's the garage it's three bays um, you know, it's not obviously as intricate as an actual fire station would be. Uh, I need to put some stairs right here going up in here. But um, anyway, so that is the first firehouse. I'll go ahead and fly around it and show you guys. Um, so yeah, that's it. It has the flag on top, station number three, and it's right on the beach. I don't know why, but just for some reason, a fire station on the beach just fits. Um, and then back here, there's going to be a police station, but that's not built yet. So anyway, that's the um, first fire station I'm going to show you. And let's go ahead and move on to the second one. Guys, so here we are at another fire station. And I just realized as I flew up to this one that this one is number three, when in reality, this is actually number two. Um, so I'm going to have to change that. But um, this is a different type of fire station because there is an apartment on top of all of it. But I'll show you how this works. So as you can see, we have a single... Um, garage. This is in the city of Doheny Hills and again we're right near the water. I don't know why I always put fire stations near the water but I seem to do that for some reason. Um, so the way you enter is um, of course through the garage for the trucks but for other for others you just go in here and there's desks and you can see that I really didn't put much thought into it which kind of sucks but okay. Um, there's a water cooler which you know I guess makes it more authentic but um, going up here we have this little single set of stairs and um, here's the fire pole which goes down to the garage and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, here is the, I actually haven't been in this one in a long time. Here's the kitchen. This kitchen is definitely a lot bigger than the other one. And then over here we have this little room for um, them to relax and take a break. And then we have the bedroom back here and there's a little patio off the bedroom. So um, kind of cool, kind of different. Um, and then over here we have a closet just for supplies. And then here is a bathroom. So um, these bathrooms obviously aren't ideal, but whatever they work, I guess. So we'll go ahead and take the fire pole down. We have this little landing area, and then we have the single um, bay for the trucks. So I'm going to go ahead and put a transporter in this one as well. I actually used to have a mod, um, I can't remember what it was called though, that had a fire engine. So anyway, that is the second fire station. Um, and as you can see, I'll do a little fly around here. 
Um, so it's the first two floors of this three-story walk-up, and we'll go ahead and move on to the last one that I have. Okay, you guys, we are over here in the city of Mugu, and we are at the next fire station. For some reason, I have this one as nine, and I don't know why, um, but this is the last one, but certainly not the least. This one is not finished, but I'll go ahead and show you guys because I love the design. So um, I built this. Uh, this is a design that I came up with myself, and um, it kind of is modeled after... Well, I kind of came up with it myself. Um, if you guys remember the City Hall video I did, um, I kind of modeled it after that, and then just made some rearrangements and created this one. So um, we're gonna let's go ahead and go inside. So um, I do have the... Do I have three for this one as well? Okay, F. Oh, fire, okay. Um, so here is the waiting area. This is probably one of the best waiting areas of my fire stations. Um, maybe fire stations don't even have a waiting area, I'm just assuming. Um, but anyway, so here's the main hall right here, and this, these will be offices. So there, there will be three offices going all the way down, and um, that'll be cool. And then there will be a staircase, and there's a hole in the ceiling right here. I'll go upstairs. And up here, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I'll probably have this area back here as a bedroom, maybe, and then a bathroom over in this corner, and then a living area, or a living area over here, and then a kitchen, and then a fire pole in the middle of all of it. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then down here is the garage. Um, I like these garage doors for this one the most. It's very modern looking, um, or Art Deco, I guess, which is kind of the theme of this building in a way. So anyway, that is the third and final um, fire station. It has the biggest footprint, but it's still really cool. I'm going to put solar panels on the roof and it'll look really awesome when it's done. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video of me giving tours of my three fire stations I have. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe while you're down there and share these videos with anyone that you think would be interested in them. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.